Hey, what's going on, guys? Little guy here, and uh, today we're doing another uh, comment reading. So let's uh, get into it. Let's look at all the comments that we've gotten from since last week. Lodi the bot killer at it again with another video. I'm hoping to goodness that this is the year that we rid the game of bots, but um, it could just be a fever dream. The Kamasan bottle. This is the item that will. It reduces 90% of damage from monsters. I believe including Herudingar, but I could be wrong. But it stays in your inventory for 30 days and the effects last 60 minutes. Oh my god. This was really... Also, I think I'm sick. But this was really embarrassing on my part. But uh, I uploaded a video here. And I said, uh, yeah, let's talk. Usually what I do is I'll pause it find a nice area to continue the conversation in and then keep talking you know going about my business talking about the content that i want to talk about maybe i'll have some water in between but this case was a very special case because um your boy didn't actually press the button like i don't know i don't know if i clicked like next to it or something like that but there was a minute there was a solid minute but I just said nothing at all. Like you probably just hear me like burp or something like that. And that's about it. That's the one thing that I do miss about recording on phone is that it's more tactile. When I would pause on Android when I'm using MobiZen, like you would see the physical button. And sometimes there would be like a, vi a little, little, little tiny vibration. But uh, yeah. All right. I really loved reading this comment. Well, there's always the possibility of getting scammed by a friend, but just as there is evil, good also exists. I remember back in 2016, 2017, I had just started playing the game. There, I met a guy who was a bit stronger than me. He gave me some spare earth gear and even gave me tips on how to get stronger. He invited me to his clan. I don't think he ever expected anything in return. I still have him friended to my, in my list to this day. There's always a possibility that someone is doing something for you and expecting something in return. But there's also a possibility of making a really good friend of whom you will remember for the rest of your life. Oh, agreed. 1000%. You can see this in real life as well. Every relation is based on trust. Whenever a relationship starts lacking trust, will, lacking trust, it will crumble. The real decision is choosing whom you want to put your trust in. Also, as a side note, I do think the gift question is a lot more complex than it may seem. The only person I can think of who's given me gifts without any expectations would be my family. But even they expect you to be happy upon receiving said gifts. It's up to your perspective whether you think gifts exist or not. Sorry for... No, bro, that not rambling at all. Bro, what I did was... Ram this, this, this video was 18 minutes long and like half of the video didn't even pertain to what I wanted to talk about. It was literally me fighting bots, which I literally cut off the last four minutes and then i'm going to re-upload that just because i thought it was fucking entertaining uh see i got it i did it again i'm rambling again it's it is it i mean i don't know if this can be studied or not you know the history of gamers um the history of da gamers and the effects of gifts to new players they're it always it it's just it always depends it always depends on the intention of the person giving the gift and how likely that person is to stick around <laughs> there are always times when like it, I'll, I'll use runescape for an example runescape was this very extremely popular uh online multiplayer game and for years i think for almost for decades now people would play and they would demolish that game there's they demolish the game to the point where there, there's pretty much nothing left to do <laughs> so what a lot of older players will do they'll just pick a random new player just give them hundreds of gold the greatest armor on the planet and then they'll just leave they'll just leave the game never to come back again and it's like it really depends on the intention of the gift giver Whereas, let's take DBO for an example. Let's say if I gave you like a three slots gear, you sl three slot gear, and then I I say yeah, that's that's all yours. Keep it. What things I've seen was 
hey, remember that three slot gear that I gave you some time ago? I wonder if you could give me that back, or I wonder if you could give me something back of value. And then what will usually happen is the guy that received the gift in the first place would would probably either sell it or give it away to somebody else. But the original gift giver, they're like, hey, I didn't I didn't know you were gonna give it away. That means you owe me. And then there's just these I've seen that sh I've seen that happen so many times. And then there's just these points of miscommunication where it's like, you gave me this gift. I took this gift knowing that, you know, nobody was going to there wasn't any strings attached to it. So I was able to sell it freely. And it it it, it is always a very, very strange thing. I will say though, just to add more substance to it, if you do give a gift, I've always given gifts with the intention of not receiving anything. Not so much as not so much the case that I want to receive something, because you know everyone wants to receive something. But it's more like I always have to take in consideration the other person's position. Just because I can give a gift of like let's let's just say ten dollars right just because i can give a gift of ten dollars doesn't mean the person receiving that gift can give a gift of ten dollars you know so it's always something like i don't want to be i bullish bearish 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 badgerish badger i don't want to be badgering of other people's like time and money because you know gifts should always just be gifts you know nothing no solicitation needed since when you became consulting sir I love how it just says yesterday. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with yesterday. 100%. Yes, sir. Satisfying. Bro, honestly, 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 we need to have like a, a stream dedicated to just fucking up the bots. I think that would be fun as hell. Where it's like all of us just wear Bacterian. We, we just crowd around the bots. Just have them die to just random new monsters. But the issue is they have the time and money to literally just do this endlessly. <laughs> like the most we do is probably like maybe 10, 30 minutes of, of uh, messing up their bottom line. Um, What is that capsule thing? New update, what version? Oh, starting version 2.3.9. I don't recommend upgrading because it's... Or there's a lot of glitches with 2.3.9. I need to make a video on that. Satisfying seeing you kill the bots. Is that title forever yours for 26 more days? Yeah, there's the... Um, yeah, this is the video where... Where I get the title in the first place. So you can definitely see the um the expiration. So yeah, yeah check, check that out. I think I only have like 24, 25 days left at this point. I love it. I love this so much. I love the uh the colon the V like the colon V emoji has always mystified me. I always think that was the funniest thing on the planet. And this guy did it twice. Not anymore. Oh, so this question was in response to a question I posted. Do you participate in Red Ribbon? I want to see the results. So Red Ribbon, I I personally used to, so I'm gonna put used to, but I definitely see like everyone's everyone uh everyone's uh opinion on it i would but the times that i can do red ribbon i literally can't because bots just flooded not anymore but because oh so let's read the comment probably because other features are placed so rr is no longer a big deal compared to maps tournaments etc they should probably revamp it or make it harder yo funny you say that so the NGOC admins do a weekly live stream where they talk about the longevity of the game. For whatever reason, they nuked all of their live streams, so it's as if nothing, none of that ever happened. The last one that they had, they talked about how they're going to be revamping Red Ribbon, so that's that's right in line with that. Hmm. Mm. That gold spin rate, yes, it is very, very trash. I... There's a reason why I don't 
participate in gambling like that. That's literally gambling in its truest form. And the only reason why I do is because I had the spin tickets. There were there were videos, there still are videos on the channel where it's like where I show the rates and not show the rates, but um I would put in like a hundred to like five hundred gems on this luck on the lucky spin. And the more I did it, the more I realized like this is not even this is not even okay in the first place. Both on the com both from the player's perspective and then the admin's perspective. Like how can you first off, they get away with it too. Like every single person uses the lucky spin and at this point like i'm not even trying to boast like you gotta do what you gotta do ai is getting better it's starting to take control over dbo first up ai is like it's such a broad word but in this case it's not really ai i guess it is ai because they're replicating what players do the thing is, it's it's like the weakest form of AI. It's no different from, like, fucking Pong. It's no different from this shit. How the fuck do I... It's no different from this AI. Because all this is doing is just replicating what a player does pretty much to the T. It just finds the target and clicks on it. There's nothing regarding... It's all transactional, so it's like... If this happens, then I will do this. And then this bot will do this. So it's not... It's still very much primitive, but it's still... Like, like it can be... The main thing I'm trying to say is... It's not... I don't. I genuinely don't think for bots in DBO, it will never get to a point where it'll fully take over a player. At least not in the next, like, 10 years. But then by that point, we're all going to be dead. Maybe. I don't know. But regardless, 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 all the admins need to do is just have a better system in place to check for, you know, bots that continuously spam selling this for X amount of, blah, blah, blah. like, it's not that, it's not that hard. I, I'm a, I'm gonna say this, man. It's not that hard. Because if you look at it with... I'm sure a lot of people have done Namekian Dragon Balls at that point. If you haven't, I have a uh, I have a Porunga guide. Shit, there it is. The definitive guide. The first definitive guide it was actually the worst one. Uh, and if you move a zone too quickly, it actually stops you from entering that zone. And that check has been there since the dawn of Porunga. And you're telling me they can't have the same checks for just players in general? That that to me is honestly insane. Let's see, Ginyu, Frieza, sell Omega for separate. Dep guy was owned by you people, so I'm selling it on a fee. Not sure if someone bought it or not. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna say this is definitely that guy. Like when you when you look at when you look at all the people that are top sellers in the game. That's the only person that consistently has every single fucking item in the game. The only time I see this guy is selling items. I've never seen this guy, like, actually hunt or fight any bosses, but yet he has every single item in the game. So it's, like, it's definitely him. Like, I... I yeah, it's pretty much... At this point, it's pretty much how can players or how can the admins find that out for themselves? Because all you need to do as a player to find out who's behind all the bots is literally look at who's selling items, who's selling the top items in the game. When you follow the money, you see everything starts to become clear. And that's honestly in real life, too. Bro, make a video of bro. Make a video on the Maima Valley bots. They hunt Ginyu for 24 hours. And that's that's also a huge issue. Before, it wasn't that big of an... I guess... I only have one singular video where I beat the bots at their own game. I changed zones really quickly. But then they caught on. Um, and then they, they had to checks for that, which is really cool. But the thing is, I'd love to make a video on it, but I can't even get to that zone without, without, without being, you know, beat by the bots. They are, they are fast as hell.
Thank God Tongue Online Strat, yes sir. Oh, this was a really good, uh, nice piece of information. I'm at level 50, but never got the uh, mouse. This guy said something really nice. You only have to use it at the end in the fight against blue. Yeah, so literally use it at the extreme end of the treasure map. And then, and then what that opens up is if you can, if you can kill blue pretty fast in the next run, you'd essentially, you, you could potentially actually, you could potentially get two mice with one radar, which I think that's nice. Oh, wait, why did that show again? Um... Congrats, bro. Thank you. Oh, this is for 500. Bro, I really appreciate the 500, man. I think that's kind of cool. I agree. It definitely is... It, it definitely is convenient to have just... Bought, like, if I want to buy two rages, it's right there. It's... I can just buy two rages. Easy. But at what point do we sacrifice convenience for, like, actually being able to do something? Because, like, these bots are taking over things that we actually want to do, like fighting Ginyu Force and stuff like that. That's something that a majority of players actually want to do. But the thing is, like, these bots make it impossible. And we fund these bots... And we make it so that these bots make it is just so much more lucrative for them to be out there. And I know for a fact that players are gonna keep funding these bots. Like it's not it's not really a matter of like when these bots go away, it's a matter of if and if we want to keep supplying these guys. I wonder if you can send a trade request and then immediately after send a challenge request and trick them into fighting you. Um, I I tried. It just didn't. It didn't really work. They they can tell. What if your inventory full of new gear? Should you remove them? Oh yeah, always sell. Always sell. Only four point six million XP. I love this guy. Oh. Holy crap! That's that's him. <laughs> Uh, spend your whole life to build multiple accounts to pass one boss. You're screwed if you're a mobile player. Oh, wait, just get more phones. Always get more phones. That's the solution to everything. What is the best emulator for what? I think Java. J2 ME for Java. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's been the answer, bro. That's let's see. That's been the answer for a decade. In this economy, most clans are dead. Yes, agreed. Agreed. My stomach hurts. Yeah, I gotta. That reminds me. All right, so I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that programming stream in, maybe for about thirty minutes. I think that's enough for me to complete the auto login script. But yep, that covers that. Lord, like, Lord, subscribe, Lord, peace. I'm gonna go use the bathroom.